I mean, the, the, the argument for, for recusal, for us saying, look, we're the injured party, we can't make a decision on who did this, put it in the lap of the United Nations, the whole world was on our side. There's no way they would have come out, if, if they'd come out with a bad decision there, then we would have had righteous indignation to do something. But, but we showed that we weren't big enough to trust that. And now we have, we have to do an extra amount of work. And it's our job as citizens to do that work, to, to make it understood by the world, which they, by and large they understand. We have a long history of struggle for righteousness and, and justice. We have a great, wonderful history in our country. We, we, we have, we, we're standing on a, a great foundation. We, 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 we can do this. I just want to bring up the, uh, the as uh, Danny Lee once said, the, the elephant in the room is the corporate interest in a, a global empire that uh, uses our, how many, 400, 500 uh, military bases in the world uh, as a way to maintain their stability and control over, over markets and over, lay, you know, we intimidate the world with our military force, and the and the elephant is the fact that these corporate interests uh, include the military-industrial complex, which is our tax dollars going to the perpetuation of um, a war industry that fits beautifully with other corporate, global, multinational interests. So my question is, being the remnant on the left, how do we mobilize? to affect change with our politicians who are predominantly influenced by this corporate power structure. It's very frustrating to write letters to our senators and congressmen and get the form letter back saying thank you very much for your interest, we're very concerned, and it goes on and on. Small groups can be effective. Code Pink is one example, I suppose. There are other small groups, but it's hard work and it's more than I'm well, it's raising consciousness, it's raising our own consciousness about our own history and about what we have done in the past and what we can do now as an example. I mean, Hawaii is a great example. That's one, one of the reasons I, I, I'm trying to start this newspaper. This fellow, uh, Joseph Navahi, is, is, uh, was a member of the Queen's uh, cabinet and, and argued vociferously for uh, a sovereign Hawaii and was overrun by the Marines. I mean, that. It, Right there, we had the U.S. military taking over a territory that it had no business doing. And, and the Hawaiians fought it, and they're still fighting it, and they're doing a marvelous job of it. They, they, they preserve their culture in a wonderful way. It's, it's growing now. It's something that's, that's, that's in the process of being saved. And soon, who knows, maybe it will be its own territory again, its own its own nation, and, and, and the United States will be better off for it, you know? I mean, the, the people of Alaska also have this issue, the people of Puerto Rico, the people of Guam. These, these are places that, that, you know, we have used our military to hold on to and to declare our own, but it's, it's hurt our karma, our, our national karma, and, and uh, this, this fellow is particularly interesting in that. It's the only biography I could find of his in the library. It's all in Hawaiian, which is wonderful. I unfortunately can't read Hawaiian. I'm trying to learn it's not very good communication. Well, we got a little bit more time. Um, I, I'd just like to end by kind of answering your question, because it does seem that the two different sides of the spectrum are so mobilized in how they get policies done and kind of progressive, and we haven't figured out how to get together and make stuff happen, you know, and, you know, we can... There's a lot of work to do, but for now, re-elect nobody, is what I say. You know, the, all these guys, if, like, if there were thousands of letters and emails, I know I wrote um, a letter about, like, you know, don't do this bailout, it's too fast, they're shoving it down. You know, thousands of emails go through, everyone just, you know, they do it without the consent of the people, they're not representing us, so just don't re-elect them. That's not true. For the county council, there are a lot of good people out there. Okay, to yes. And we, we also like, have... I like no one in Congress, except Ron Paul. We also have some elections coming up here, a pilot program with our county council, so that should be interesting just to see who's going to run clean and all that money, for sure. Well, we are out of time. Uh, thank you for watching another episode of Global Hope. Very good dis discussion, and we hope we'll see you next time. Aloha.